everyone, Cheryl M. here. And yeah, yes, if you hear that my voice is cracking, it is. Hold on. Okay, first of all, before we get started, I have a something strange going on with my voice. Second of all, I did get on an antibiotic. My doctor put me on it um, yesterday, so I'm glad of that. Um, have a little infection again so and I do not have coronavirus so please don't <laughs> don't shut me off because of that anyway and the other reason next thing I'm going to talk to you about is I had this trying to think of ideas to make people happy instead of always sadness when I come on here and stop being a Debbie Downer so this is so late and I've been wanting to do this all day long, but I got involved in so many things. Cooking, washing, running into my friends, having a, something else happen. And then I was trying to get the washing machines and um, you know, we share them here. And then I got to talking to a sweet lady friend of mine in the hall. And it's nice to have some communication. We just have to stay six feet apart. Okay. so. I know what you're thinking. Why the hell does Cheryl have all that jewelry on? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. This was my idea all day. Hold on, let me have a sip of coffee. Okay, all day, <clears throat> my voice, it, it comes and goes, like it's good and then it isn't. That I wanted to do something positive and something fun. Now I'm gonna show you the end result of my bunny garden but it's really called Jew's garden for Julian and um, for my grandson since he inspired me to do it so I will show you that and I'll do that right now because my brain gets lost and I absolutely love it it's a 3d garden it has so many little intricacies that you can't see you turn it you can see it's 3d has a little eggs in there and if you notice that the mommy bunny the little baby girl bunny is so close to her mommy and the little boy bunny he's like I'm a big man I can stand on my own so everything is like has a thought to it and like I said I did the grass I cut all the little grass up into tiny little pieces and put it on one of my wood sticks. It made it a lot easier to glue and I made my little flower garden here. And even on the back, I wanted it to be pretty on the back. So hold on and I'll show you the back. I have to be very careful with this video because um, last night's videos were a disaster. If you only knew the messes I made but honestly, it wasn't my fault. There were like one phone call after another. I put it on airplane mode, then something came on from another place, Facebook, and it just, oh God, it got so fouled up. Anyway, so this is the bunny garden. I want you to get a good look because I absolutely love it. It's just, I love the detail. I love the fence, the idea that my grandson gave me and the little roses and the tiny little egg I had left over. So everything, I hope you like it because I sure do. Okay. Next, I just finished making my cousin Janice a cross. Now, and I'm not kidding you, as long as it's not a million, but if somebody wants a cross, I'll make it for you. You just have to let me know, okay? So this is the front. Actually, that's the back. This is the front. I just put some pretty buttons on there. And then I do a braid. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Now, I want. I, you know how I always come on here and I forget. Hold on. I almost did it again. And I always forget to uh, do all the people I want to shout out. Well, I wrote some names down because I don't want to forget to do this. <clears throat> and then I'll explain the jewelry. Deborah A. Eprica, Carol Johnson, Radha G., Grace Wall Waller, 
Ellen Bar Barnett, Tracy Morgan, Donna from Donna Unboxes, Linda Thrifty Life. Thank you, Linda, for always commenting sweetly. Rosemary, you rock art. And every time I come on here and I have more people, I'm going to write their names down. You guys don't know how you make my day, how you make me feel so good, how you just, I have to fix myself here. Keep me motivated to keep going no matter what. So thank you. So anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer you guys up. And I got to thinking, what is it that we miss about um, not being able to go out and do the things that we normally do? And the first thing that came to my mind, oh God, my hair is sticking to that necklace. I want you to really get a good look at this necklace. This was an antique necklace that my brother Lee gave me. He said, pick what you want. And I was going to go to a wedding and I wanted a really big statement necklace for a wedding. And I ended up wearing these earrings. They're fake, but this is an antique and it's not real, the crystals and all, but it's so beautiful. And I miss getting dressed up as old as I am and going out to dinner. And I thought, why don't we dress up once in a while? So every now and then I'm going to dress up better than this, but I figure this is a start. Put some, whoops, whoops, put some pretty jewelry on. I wore this beautiful blouse to Vegas. It's so gorgeous. It has like a sheath at the bottom and I had a turquoise beautiful blouse that I want to see Celine Dion. But I, I didn't really, I'm so tired because I've been washing and all kinds of stuff today that I didn't really have a chance to darn that hair. Uh, I just didn't feel like putting the turquoise blouse on. But every now and then, I'm going to do that because I, someone even said to me, Oh, Cheryl, you love to dress up. And I'll, the reason I love it is because I never got to do it very often. So when I did get a chance to dress up, I loved it. And we'd go to dinner and the candlelight and you look so pretty and you feel so pretty and it's just so nice. So um, why not? And then I thought every day when I wake up, I'm going to say, what am I grateful for? Well, the big fast, first of all, it's my family and my children and my grandchildren. Absolutely. Water hot and cold water, toilet paper, hello, my bed and my covers when I get in them at night. I just washed my covers. My couch that I loved was like the third couch I purchased on my own and I love this couch. Um, a better future for my children. So that's just to start many things, but I'm gonna to try to do that every day. Okay, now lastly, I'm going to show you that my friend Sue, who I, I had like five people that I worked with at the store, the supermarket, and we worked there for years. And Sue even worked there longer than I did. And Sue was real close to my other friend, Dottie, but we were a tight, tight crew. And we still stay connected. We all worry about each other. Some of us have chronic illnesses. Uh, some of us are healthy, but most of us are older. Sue's on the younger side, 50, beautiful girl. And, you know, she's had some troubles in her life, and we'd always talk about our troubles and stay, try to figure things out together at work when we were at work. So today she called me and said, can you meet me downstairs? I have something for you. I said, for what? She said, just come down and get it. So I did, and I gotta make this fast because I can talk away. And there's a box. Have I, I have not opened it or looked at it. She, I said, Sue, what is it for? She said, it's for your birthday. Well, my birthday is not until Easter, and that alone is the biggest birthday present you can give me, is that my birthday's on Easter. Hang on one second. Okay, I had to go get something. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open this up. I have no idea what it is. My friend Sue is the sweetest person. She has 
two daughters, three daughters. I have two daughters, and we always talk about our problems with our daughters. And we're her. <sighs> You're not going to believe this. I'm glad I waited to do this on video. So. <laughs> Oh my God, this girl, she got me my, my podge, which I am running out of. How'd you know that, Sue? Oh God, I gotta get a sip of coffee, hold on. One thing I'm not gonna do is cry. I'm the ugliest crier in the world. Maybe not the ugliest, but, oh, wait till you see this. I have not opened this. She was going to mail it, but she didn't want to go to the post office. Oh my God. Ribbon with little chickies on it. Oh, I had no idea. More ribbon. Is this beautiful? Oh my God. I always want ribbon. She gave me a card and I'm going to keep that personal. Oh my God. More Mod Podge. Oh my God, Sue. And she filled it with all these adorable little eggs that I can use now for my projects. And I might, I may put it on my bunny, my bunny garden. It's filled with them. It's all filled with little eggs. Oh. <laughs> More little chicky ribbon. Look at this. Oh my God. This is like a border or you can put it on a wreath. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. I can use this for several wreaths. Oh, Sue. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so glad I didn't open this till I videotaped it oh my god look at these all these flowers she sent me oh my god look at them oh my goodness look at the what are these called these are i know what they are oh my god i can't think of the name of them but i know them you guys know them, right? Look at these flowers. Oh my God. Oh, I love having all these flowers. I am dying to do a wreath, dying. Look at them, beautiful. Oh my God, there's more. Look, we got some all kinds, Christmas flowers for Christmas. Oh my God, Let me take a break. Oh my God. I had to regroup and my leg is killing me. I don't know why. She put a little thing for things for Christmas. Look at this. These little baby clothes pins. Oh my God. And I have another addiction now. Clothes pins. Figure that one out. They are so cute. More butterflies. I got some butterflies from Rosemary and I've been using them for my wreaths and, and I'm using them for my gardens now. And she's got all these little eggs in here. Oh, oh my God, another flower. Look at these. I love little dainty flowers. So beautiful. Oh my God. Is this one wreath for him? She sent me all this twig to make wreaths. I'm trying to figure this out. Let me see. Oh my God. All right, let me read this. Oh my God. It's all this tw a twig to make my wreaths. Oh my God, Sue, thank you so much. Oh my God, and the, and the eggs are all over. I 
think they all fell out, but they're so cute. I got a whole bunch of eggs, which I want. I need more. We're at 15 minutes. Okay, we're coming to the end. Oh my God. More little clothes pins. Oh my God, I love these. I gotta, I gotta do a craft with these clothes pins. And, and I've got one in my mind. As soon as I can get to the more ribbon, Easter ribbon, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. And these clothes pins. And the rest are, well that's enough. It's filled with the little eggies in the bottom. With all this pretty tissue paper. I don't want to lose the eggs. I know I've been on here long. Thank you, Sue. Oh my God, thank you so much. You are so sweet and dear. And I know your birthday's in July, by the way. You're not getting away with that. Thank you so much, Sue. I appreciate it so much. Boy, did that, I, I really, can you tell, had a good day. Even without my Charlie. I love him to death. That's one of my birthday presents, to be with my puppy. That would make me so happy, and I think my daughter knows that, so I'm praying to God I can be with my Charlie for my birthday for a few days. I know I'm not well, and I know I need some time to be in and rest and not get up, but I, I need him in my life, I really do. But so does my grandson, and I can't be, you know, selfish, so. Anyway, uh, I had everything on a list here. I'm not sure I got through it. I would like to tell you I'm working on a craft, but I have to get a steel, like a, a aluminum pan, round or square I'm looking for, and we're going to do another craft together. Until then, I got to find some other crafts we're going to do. So I'm going to be looking around and I'm going to be hunting on the internet to find something very special. But let's face it. My little bunny garden. For a centerpiece at my daughter's house, my grandson can put out all year. I, I'm thrilled with it. I really am. And so this piece of wood that I got for the truck turned out great. And one other thing I'd like to tell you is um, I'm going to have a giveaway coming up and I already been accumulating so I'm always going to add some little odds and ends trinkets whatever you want to call it I pick them up at the store when I go to Acme the dollar section and all but I'm also going to have something else and so when I do the giveaway um, I'm going to give you a couple days notice and I'm or I think I'm going to give you a week notice so that whoever wants to be in on the giveaway can put their name in on it so I can go through that whole week and make sure I have everyone's name. If you'd like to be in on it, you let me know. I will let you know, except for the little trinkets, what it is by then. I'm trying to figure it out in my mind. Try to cheer people up. So we've got that going on. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Sue, you are a dear, you are a dear friend. You, Olivia, Dottie, Carol, my sister-in-law, my niece Marie. Oh my God, I always draw this blank. Kathy, my new friend here is the sweetest thing ever. Agnes, Wanda, all you guys. You are, you mean everything to me. You keep me going. You keep me from going into that dark place, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't always do videos like this, but I want to try to do a change up and cheer people up. So God bless and hold on. First, say goodbye to my Charlie. 19 minutes. And as I said, this was my first painting that I did of anything. And I did it of Charlie. It just came out of nowhere. Very proud of that. And my little grandkids down here. 
my six grandchildren. Okay, and you know where I'm going. Sharon Charlie's personal crafts. This is what I'd like for you guys to do. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Hang in there. We're going to get through this.